company that. So this is a uh, Dayak? Yeah. Let's, let's do that uh, up there. This is the boat. Yeah. Wow, look at this. All totally made by hand. Yeah, so let's talk about the dia. Okay. This is the dia. Mm -hmm. It is a wooden pole that's almost four, meter, four meters long that has this metal end so you can push yourselves. And you've got a name for the end, haven't you? Yeah, this is called Stitza. Uh -huh. uh, basically, it needs to be sharp because a lot of, uh, a lot of bottom of the river uh, you can use chalk, so you, would need, you need a good tip when you push so it, it, that it doesn't slip. Uh, you can see here we have a couple of them that are waiting reparations that are, that, that are still missing the Stitza. Mm -hmm. Here and here. We have a couple of stitzas. Uh, these, these, these are older ones that were in use, but they are still good. Uh, this is a newer one. How, and how, these, how long do you think one of these would last? Uh, until you lose it. <laughs> it's yeah, it, yeah, yeah, because it can <laughs> fall off yeah. or the die can break. And if you don't catch it, then basically that's, that's how it gets lost. Sometimes if they are not well made, uh, if they are not well made, they can crack. This is an ancient one that we found somewhere in the river. One of our friends found it. That has to go in a museum. That's in, it, that's in our museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the, uh, I think this one was donated by someone, but these are the two old examples. This one was found in the river, I believe, and this one was donated. So, so we have it here as exhibits so we can show them. Yeah, and uh, this is the boat here. So, so the first thing to get laid down is is the hull, right? Is or yeah, or do they build the usually, sides? For yeah, hull is usually made out of the two or three planks. Uh huh. And uh, while the glue is drying, mm -hmm. you you can see here where it's joined, here and here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and while uh, the that is drying, then the sides are built to the to the bottom and the top. Usually, a uh, boat, is, boat itself is made from pine, which is lower quality wood, but it's really light, and that's why we use it. But the top and the bottom are usually more made from quality, more quality wood. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, isn't it? that's made from uh, more quality wood, uh, even from some exotic woods. Uh, I think this this one is oak. We even did mahogany ones. How, how yeah. long? How long from start to finish to build? Yeah. To build uh, this, a year. It, it, it is. It is really hard to say. Uh, when you put it together, uh, you can put it together in a week, then another week of painting, uh, or so. But uh, the thing is that you order the planks, and they arrive, then you dry them for a year, then next year you can use them. Yeah. So all these planks here, they already spent a one year in storage. And basically now they are they are ready for for constructing the boats. Usually it takes for a boat two weeks or so uh, to be made. Uh, uh, but yeah, then that's not considering one year of of drying mm -hmm. of everything. And, and of course and you re and you repair the boats as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, inside there are three steel ribs that are used for structural integrity. And this one is almost finished with assembly. There are a couple of things that need to be sanded down, a couple of holes like this that need to be plugged. And then it, it goes off to uh, painting with different, with different kinds of paint. So it, uh, so it, so the water doesn't damage it. And basically the best practice is that each year before you put it on water, is to sand it down lightly and apply another coat of, of paint. Uh, if there are some holes, you can you can fill up the holes with a filler or something in that manner. And your family is the one that said about using lacquer. Yeah. Underneath that's, that, so that is not, not only underneath but on on whole, whole boat. Yeah, that's that's something 
that uh, they started using, which made the book significantly lighter. This is absolutely fascinating. See, look at all this. It's all all traditional skills. There's no huge machine making dikes or boats here. This is yeah. We this is pure craftsmanship. Like, yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, we had uh, another Brit that was visiting us a couple of years ago. That came here. He he worked at yacht restorations, old wooden yachts. So he he really enjoyed it here. Uh, he was here while they were assembling boats and looking how, how they were working it. He really enjoyed it here. This is fascinating. Well, I tell you one thing. I want to come back when this boat is ready, just to just to film what it looks like when it's when it's finished. Could you let me know when that happens? I I could do my best. <laughs> I mean, it's, this one this one is almost ready. I think there is another week of paint up to it because first you need to put coats that soak in. Mm -hmm. Then there are base paints. Then there are lacquers. I'm there, there. There's not much here. Maybe to sand down these rough edges. But this one would look. In a week, it will look exactly like the ones, ones at the bottom. Do you happen to know what name it's going to get at the moment? No, 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 no I'm idea. Not sure, I'm not sure whose who's boat is this, so I, I'm, I don't know what, what name. Nabojsha, yeah. thank you so much for this no today. Problem. This has been absolutely first class and eye opening. Well, it's not often you get, I don't think many people in the world, first of all, have seen it, the boats on the River Verbas, and less people have seen them in this quite, if I can say, naked stage, because as Nabojsha says, all it's got to do now is a little bit more and then they can dress it. And afterwards, it's off to work, isn't it? Yeah.